Um, hopefully my video is working today. We're doing it live. Sorry, I was not live yesterday. Sometimes I get caught up with work um, or you know what? Regular daily stuff that's happening at home. So sometimes if I'm unable to go live, I'm going to try to, hey Carrie, um, I'm gonna try to do a little video before so I can make sure that we're keeping up on our daily dog training motivation. Hey Kim, thank you guys for joining us. Hi Mary. Um, so today we're going to continue our tricks in case any of you guys wanna do the AKC tricks title. The first level is the novice, um, which I posted about yesterday or maybe it was today. Um, but there are either five or 10 exercises that you do. Oh, I forgot to turn my light on, hold on. Oh, now you might be able to see me a little bit better. Um, so you can do either five or 10. Um, hey, Teresa, depending on if your dog has its canine good citizen title or not. Hi, Jane. Um, so I have Libby with me today and um, she's gonna do a couple things. Yesterday's video was with Harper working on um, touch for the most part. Um, so today we're going to have Libby here and um, we're gonna work on just a few things with Libby. We're going to work on getting up on a box or a table and then we're going to work on going in a box and we're gonna work on going in the crate. So I'm just gonna kind of show you the basics on how to do that. So if you do those, um, going in a box, going on top of a box, going in a crate, and then yesterday's touch, which was also touch to your hand. Um, hey Carrie. Um, and then also touch to your cheek, which is kiss. There are five exercises right there. Um, so you're well on your way to being able to get to either the five or the 10 minimum. Seriously, look at this. She's already up on her perch. Um, so I'm gonna grab my treats and I'm gonna show you how to get them up on the box first. So, um, if your dog at home normally hops up on things, then you've already, they've, they're already doing the behavior, so you just have to put a command to it. But with her, what I'm gonna do first is use the tree to lure her up onto the box, which is just our ottoman from our front room. And then, just like I've explained before with operant conditioning, you don't actually put the command to the action until your dog is doing it about 80% of the time. Then you can safely assume that your dog will do it when you ask. So then you can put the command to the action and they will associate it with what they're doing. So the first couple times with her, I'm just gonna take the treat and lure her up onto the ottoman. Ready? Yeah, good girl. Good girl, good. Okay, good girl. Ready? I'm a master at dropping treats, by the way. Oh, nice, good girl. So using the treat lure, the way that I'm putting the treat to her nose and luring her up onto the table, that eventually becomes your hand signal, so it's easy to help guide your dog to where you want them to go. You could also call it target training, if they're following your target, which is your hand. Okay. All right, let's do it one more time with no command, and then I'm gonna try it with only a command and hand signal and no treat. Yes, sit. Good girl. So I'm gonna call it table. Ready? Table. Yes, good girl. Nice. Okay. 
And again, if you watch how I use my body, she's probably getting all kinds of cues just from watching my body, the way that I angle my hips, right? Because when I want her to go up onto that table, I'm angling my hips right towards it. Right. Ready? Table. Yes. Nice. Good girl. Okay. Down. So then getting into a box, same theory, they're just going into something instead of on top of something. So I was trying to figure out if I have a box at home, um, you could also just kind of use, now let me say this, I don't know if this is exactly how it is for the test, but I think what you could also do is just have something on the floor, even if you're using like painter's tape on the floor um, to show a specific area that your dog is supposed to be going into. or um, I think um, somebody posted the other day that they had PVC pipe in the shape of a box on the floor. So something like that would probably work also. Me, I just thought, huh, well, since I have my ottoman here, I can also open it up and there's a box. So I'm going to use the same idea of luring her into it to have her go into the box. Come here. Box. Yeah, nice. Fit in the box? Nice. Uh oh, the tail doesn't fit. Good girl. Okay. She's looking for that tree I just dropped. Yeah, nice. You want to get in there, don't you? Good girl. Good girl. Our dogs are really great at anticipating what we're going to say. Nice. Okay. Good girl. All right, so since I, I think she's probably going to do it. I'm going to, you're so good, you're so good. I'm going to use my hand as her signal to get in, and I'm going to say box. Ready? Box. Nice. Yeah, good girl, good girl. Okay. Good girl. You want to hop in there again, don't you? You're so silly. Good girl. All right, so table. Box, same idea. Can you see she's all excited now? Nice, good girl. Um, she is an awesome worker bee. Super focused. Um, so now we're gonna work on going into kennel. I'm just gonna try first to see how she does. I haven't practiced this with her. We just kind of do it randomly throughout the day, but I've never actually done it as a command. So I'm gonna see if she does it. Wait, wait, come here, good girl, kennel, come here, box, kennel, yes, wait, uh-uh, back, nice, good girl, good girl, wait, can you guys see how I moved my body around to help her understand what I wanted? to be using your clicker with, obviously. Um, but what you're gonna do is, since you can't all the way lure your dog into the crate, you can easily take some treats and just toss them into the crate. So I'm gonna do that with her first to go through the <coughs> So you guys can see what's happening. This is one of the joys of live videos. I have no idea what's going on upstairs. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple treats and I'm just gonna toss them into her kennel. Hey, wait, uh-uh, wait. She's not gonna wait, come here, come here. I know, you know what I want, don't you? Down, Libby, come here, down. 
wait. Okay, go ahead. Go in that kennel, get it. Good girl. Okay, good girl. Now I'm going to try it in a little bit more fluid motion. So she's following my hand in there to get her treat. Okay, good girl. And I'm going to do it one more time before I say it with the command. And I didn't toss the treat very far in there, so she only went halfway. So I'm going to try it again to toss the treat further back so she puts her whole body in there. Yes. An easy way you can get the dogs to stay in the crate with the door open is to quick meet them with your hand and treat them right when they're at the threshold so they don't pass it. Okay. And then when they come out, no treat. Kind of a similar idea as when you're working on your mat work where you want your dog to stay on the mat because all good things happen when they're on that mat. Remember, they don't get treats when they're off of the mat. They only get the treats and the eye contact and the verbal praise when they're laying on that mat. So the same idea with the crate. If you want your dog to stay in the crate even with the door open, you would toss that treat in so they go in, their whole body goes in the crate. When they turn around, you're quick right there at that door while it's open to quick meet them with a treat. Now, I, you probably have five or six treats in your hand, so you'd kind of dish them out like a Pez dispenser to keep them at that doorway without passing it. If they come out of their crate on their own, no treats. They don't get anything. You do it again. You lure them into their crate. As soon as they turn around and their face is towards you, you start dishing out those treats. Each time you do it, you do it a little bit slower a little bit slower to eventually you're giving them a treat, your hands coming back to you, waiting a second, giving them a treat, your hands coming back to you, waiting a second. So they're staying in that crate longer and longer, waiting for the treat. You haven't said stay, you haven't said wait, you haven't given them any command. They're starting to understand the longer I stand or wait in this crate without leaving it, the more treats I'm going to get. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you guys can hear Lou upstairs whining. Um, so then, once you have that kind of pause button with them at the crate door, that's when you can start adding in the command of um, your release word, whether it's free or okay or release. So that's when you get that nice pause button where your dog goes in the crate, they wait there for a moment. When you say, okay, then they come out of the crate. Is it needed for this trick? No, it's not needed. Um, it's just kind of a, a nice um, extra bit of being polite, I think, for your dogs. I like my dogs to wait at the doors. Um, I like my dogs to wait at the staircase so they don't clip me as I'm trying to go down the stairs. So it's just kind of one of those extra things of um, having your dog be polite and have good house manners. So today, continue to work on um, touch and then you can start working on table, box, and go kennel. So have a great day. I can't wait to see everybody's progress and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks guys.